The last time I spoke to Elle was on YFM, I think, 14 years ago. Yo, can't you hold she? 14 years she ago. She 25. Uh, maybe she was still a child back then. Elle. And I miss you so much, Karan. 14 years ago. It's we crazy. Meet, we meet again. We meet again. Yes. Hi, team. You guys are sounding amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Well. Now, you're on holiday. <laughs> I am on holiday, yeah. Uh, just a few days in San Francisco. So you've got to do these things. You know? I, was, I was about to say, are you making music on holiday? But if the, the children are there, there's no way you're making music on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're a mother and a wife. I am, yes. How has that changed how you eat, what you eat? I mean, look, your body changes as soon as you have one child, never mind two or three or any other, you know, number. Yes. So I'm very, very con- conscious about everything that I eat, everything that I feed my family as well, because that's very important. And kids do what you do. Mm-hmm. They don't do what you say. You know, so health is a huge, huge, huge fact- factor to me. We, we work out together. We walk together. We do a lot of things. So it's always um, health over a lot of things, but I also let them be kids. You mm-hmm. know, I'm not one of those parents that, mm. that just give them, you know, carrots and cucumber sticks and all sorts of things. No, I, I allow them to also have a chocolate, you know, once, once a day, you know, or even twice, even sometimes. You know, especially now when you're on holiday, I let the, a little, you know, just a bit loose. But mm. usually when we're at home and it's full time and all of that, it's always during the week very clean. I try to be very clean. And then weekends, that's when we you know, go out and get chips and all of that. I let them be kids. But I, I think my good habits outweigh my, my bad ones. I think I'm probably 70, 30. You know, 70 is good eating. 30 is, you know, let's live, man. Let's mm. not restrict ourselves too much. Right. El, yeah. El Samizian, uh, when you, <clears throat> what is the one thing that when you eat, you know for sure it makes you feel so guilty? And, and after you've eaten it, you you like why did and why did I do that to myself? In, what's in, what's that? In fact, maybe oh. it's that one thing that had you turn to gospel for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I need Jesus. No, no. Yes. I, 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 <laughs> what is that one thing that makes you like so? I, so I oh need God. to be ah. borrowed. Oh, it has to be chocolate, guys. But and I literally have to have one every day. It's such a Pray for me, guys. Let me keep, I, mm. When it comes to chocolate, I love it, but I hate it at the same time, you know? Mm. But um, I, I, I'm not ready to give it up. No, not yet. No, sure. I'm not ready. But I work out very hard. You know, I try to just chuck some sort of a balance. And I know you can't outwork out a really bad diet. Mm. You know? But I really, really try. But I can't restrict myself from that guilty pleasure. Sure. You know, yeah, chocolate. So, yeah. And, and, and when you pack for your kids, right? How old are your kids, mm-hmm. by the way? So, so maybe my, my first one is turning seven later in the year. But mm-hmm. The second one is turning three. Okay, so the seven-year-old yeah. one is, is at a stage of toy-toying for something that they don't like. So if when you pack for your kids, does your mm-hmm. seven-year-old have that one thing that he hates? And, and if so, how do you meet him halfway? Okay. Does my family have just to be that way? Like, like you're, you're seven year old. Mm. There, there must be that one thing that when you pack it, he's like, not this one, mommy. And you know the importance of that thing that you pack. Oh. What is it? And then oh, how, yes. how are you trying to meet him halfway? It's got to be, it's got to be peanut butter. CD hates peanut butter. Hate really? it, you know. And I have to give her a brown peanut butter sandwich once a week. And it's always on a Wednesday. And she knows, you know. And so I, I, I'm, a, I'm a tuck shop mom. So once a week I go to tuck shop and help out at school, you know. And so I think she's got some sort of agreement with the ladies I work with at the tuck shop. <laughs> you show her one or you know, one of the something that she gets really there just on the Wednesday. Because that, that sandwich comes in, she only has a quarter <laughs> of that sandwich every Wednesday. So I think I'm going to shake it up and maybe do it on a day where she thinks or she's getting... You know, her favorite sandwich, which is cheese all the time. Cheese and, and cucumbers. That's her favorite sandwich. <laughs> mm. Elle, what's next for you? What, what are, you, are you working on that you can look forward to? Look, I mean, 
I've I've always had a dream of doing a, li- a live gospel album, and I've I've, I've had the dream realized. Mm. So I'm looking forward to releasing a beautiful R and B love music mix. You Look know, at you. and uh, yes, and I'm I'm really really excited about that. So I'm really I think I can't wait for In Love the album the DVD to you know sell out and be done so that I can. Because I've got my first single already, you know, for the next project. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm loving, loving, loving life right now. I'm very happy, guys. Um, and thanks for having me on the show. Elwa, well, happy for you. And uh, keep kicking ass, man. And enjoy your holiday. I will do that literally. But thank you to me, the more. My baby. So much. It's 543, the Comedy Minute on Metro FM. Here's Louis C.K. The Fresh Breakfast Comedy Minute.